Hi, this is Zach May with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Tuesday, the 14th of September, starting off with the audio boom, where it seems that there's nothing like a spurning a potential takeover from one company to get the share price going. We're here, we've got a bear trap gap reversal on the daily chart. So just uh, trading below the uh, uptrend line there from uh, the beginning of the year. Gap down well, basically on Monday and has uh, gapped up higher today. Also, we actually traded below that uh, old low there for the shares at 785, uh, hence the uh, bear trap gap reversal. It can be a decent signal and uh, this, the uh, implication is that uh, at least from a technical perspective, above the uh, floor of the gap there at £7.80, we're looking to the top of a broadening triangle as high as £13 over the next couple of months for audio boom. End of day close above the 50-day moving average around uh, the uh, £9.05 level is the uh, is a decent trigger, but uh, we've already had the uh, island gap reversal bear trap, so we should be on our way to the upside again. On to stock, which has had uh, quite a few gaps uh, on the daily chart of late. Um, you can see um, Brand Shield with the uh, trend line break, that falling wedge that we had. We actually had a gap higher and then we uh, bounced off the uh, floor of the gap around uh, 16 pence. Uh, another gap through the 50-day moving average and now bouncing off the 50-day line at 16 pence. At least while we're above the 50-day line looking for at least, uh, well, get looking for the 200-day line at 21 and a half pence. Maybe by the end of this month and up towards uh, 25 pence, perhaps by the end of next month at that uh, late February resistance line projection. But uh, slightly fiddly chart, it has to be admitted. Less fiddly at the moment is uh, Contango. And um, here you can see that uh, the shares broke that line of resistance there from March around uh, the five and a quarter pence level and haven't really looked back since. Uh, the view at the moment is that while we're above the old August resistance at uh, seven and a quarter pence, we're looking towards as high as that December resistance line projection at 13 pence, perhaps as soon as the end of next month. 50 and 200 day moving averages both rising into a golden cross and that tends to be the strongest part in the cycle, the run up to that. And so that is why we're looking for 13 pence at the moment. On to uh, market newbie, uh, which is performing steadily. If I can type in the right chart, uh, East Imperial. Here you can see that um, we're uh, at the highs and we've sort of gapped up as well. The rising trend channel there from back in July, top of the channel currently pointing towards 35 pence. And we're looking for 35 pence, at least while we hold above. The floor of the channel there at 17 pence which looks like it can be achieved on to hydrocotics which was an old favorite of mine before um, the double top in may and june we're back uh, bouncing i suppose uh, around the uh, february march resistance area so that was around uh, the um, sort of five to six pence area Current situation is that we hopefully get a, an end of day close uh, above the 50 day moving average. Well, we already got the end of day close above the 50 day moving average at eight pence. And while we're above that, looking for uh, resistance on the way down towards 13 or 14 pence by the end of the month. Moving on to uh, Jersey oil and gas, which had a bit of a flurry of late uh, here, looking interesting in the sense that we've had a uh, good bullish divergence going into the uh, latest spike for the shares. So we had lower September support, but a higher RSI trace. And uh, that does suggest that uh, the initial target here up towards the um, 152 pence level at the 200 day moving average. And then on to perhaps uh, by the end of next month up to April resistance through £1.80. All of that valid while we hold above the floor of the gap at £1.20 over the near term so 150 plus and then 180 plus lined up for jersey oil and gas moving along to one of the uh, sort of stock market I won't say stock market darling but uh, very much followed stock here we see codal bouncing off the floor of the rising trend channel haven't had some uh, haven't had an update for uh, a little bit now so um, the fans of the shares getting excited end of day close above the 50-day moving average around uh, the 0.36 level could take the shares uh, once again up towards a notional target as high as 0.6 pence over the next month to six weeks. And uh, stop loss there back below 0.3 seems logical for that situation. Another uh, penny stock um, favorite is uh, Mossman Oil and Gas. Here we've still got that line of resistance uh, around the point 
one eight pence level need to break that really to get the shares up towards 0 0.23 0 0.24 by the end of next month but looking more encouraging after that bear trap that we had below the or uh, the april support around uh, 0.13 and a half so a healthier picture there for mosman at the moment interviewed uh, mobile streams uh, earlier today and um, here we've got a situation where it is at long last uh, looking uh, like a decent uh, well fundamentals already there but uh, technicals looking pretty strong as well and uh, the target here is high as 0.5 pence by the end of next month which is a one-year resistance line projection and that's valid while we hold above the initial September resistance around 0.32 pence the other point to note is that we're in the run-up to a golden cross having uh, after having gapped up through the 50 and 200 day moving averages at the beginning of the month and uh, the target here certainly valid given the way that we are in the run-up to such a positive technical setup requested stock uh, next which i think actually already covered uh, last week but um, you know it can never get too much of a good thing uh, here we see that um, red x pharma has almost uh, almost reached uh, the target that we had set for it up to what put towards one pound 30 so uh, pat on the back there C the current view is that uh, at least while we're above the old august 2020 peak at 92 pence one pound 30 looks to be on the cards for the shares on to rambler which uh, has appeared on the sunday roast and other places as well looks like uh, it's starting to uh, move around in a in a better place um, did suggest uh, i think uh, yesterday uh, or the day before uh, the, the previous update over the weekend perhaps that uh, the shares look like they bottomed out that seems to be the case uh, given the way that they've snapped that resistance line there from june that was around 22 pence and about 22 pence looking for 32 pence at the 200 day moving average perhaps by the end of next month and if we're really lucky by the end of this month lots of news from extract resources at the moment and another interviewed company what's interesting here i suppose is the way that uh, we've been sort of bumping along the bottom of uh, post july support uh, the higher low there around uh, 3.4 pence it looks like it's a decent pivot but uh, if we can get back above that uh, t rising 200 day moving average at four and a half pence then we could open up the best levels of last year uh, towards a six a seven and, and eight pence but uh, 3.4 looks like a good stop loss point for those uh, thinking of recovery at extract finishing off with a stock which i don't look at very much at all uh, zytrike and um, here you can see that uh, probably you can see why i don't look at it very much because we've had uh, basically sideways action for a long time the uh, good news here though is, per is perhaps that um, we could see the shares hit that line of resistance there up towards two pounds 40 by the end of next month if it follows through on the uh, gap through the 50 and 200 day moving averages end of day close above the old july peak at one pound 75 should open up 240 by the end of uh, next month and only really back below the uh, 200 day line around one pound 55 really delaying the upside scenario seems to be rather unlikely or would be rather unlikely that we break back uh, given the sharp spike today that's it for me today more updates tomorrow